Hi, I'm Valder Beebe, host of The Valder Beebe Show, a new kind of spiritual talk show. Broadcast on FM radio, internet websites, and print publications. I am well known for that celebrity interview. Interviews that we conduct in studio, by telephone, and by satellite with today's most fascinating people. I'm Valder Beebe, and I'll see you on ValderBeebeShow.com. Good morning. Good morning, Miss Shelley Lay. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. How are you? <laughs> I'm doing fine. I'm glad. And Ryan, Nicole Brown, thank you for joining us. Of course. Thank you for having me. Well, if we're going to start, uh, I know you're going to be the actress that we're featured on. But, Michelle, let me ask you. you get, they say you're breaking your silence. You're sharing your story. Tell me what that means. Um, I'm talking about a life I lived about 20-something years ago that probably people didn't know about. It was abusive. Um, it was mental, mentally and physically abusive. Um, I wasn't sure what love was, so I, I, I went through a lot. In the, in the process of all this, I had hit records, like, I'm on the road, I'm enjoying my life, and I think... What I'm trying to say now is I want to bring them into that, into, I want to leave them in that world and bring them into my new world because I am a much stronger person with a much, I, I think now I have a better perspective of men. I hope I do. And I hope this movie does that for so many women. And men too. I think men can walk away as well. People keep asking me, why didn't you just leave him? And I say, why didn't he just walk away before he hit me? So there's a lot. There's a lot going on in this movie. So because you've become wiser, we're going to say, did that give you the the confidence, confidence or the gravitas to share your story? Absolutely. Because I was asked every day. First of all, how did you get from Dr. Dre to Suge Knight? And I kept going, you know, it was easy. <laughs> no, I, I really wanted to explain that because I think that was the second question after why do you talk like that? That was the second question everybody asked me. And I survived it, you know? I mean, I really did. I was with two p powerful men who were control freaks. And, you know, and I'm glad because it just gave me nothing but strength. And I, now I know what love isn't. I may not know what love is. That's a, that's a very compelling answer. Let me ask you, Ryan, you get to imitate this, this life that was just laid out a little bit before my audience. How do you embody all of that bigness? Uh, you know, it took a lot of preparation. Um, I studied Michelle every day for a month and a half. Uh, I actually talked like her for a month and a half, and my family and my friends were like, okay, dude, what's going on? And I'm like, well, I'm playing somebody who's living, and I, it's a, it, it is a very strong story, so I wanted to give Michelle all that I had, and I feel like I, I did that. Miss Elaine, and I'm sorry I mispronounced your name in the beginning. I'm so sorry I didn't have my monitor in front of me. Uh, it's okay. You, they told me you sing so differently than you speak. Yeah, I know. I love your speaking voice. Thank I really you. do. Thank you. Thank you. So are you saying you don't like my singing voice? Oh, come on. <laughs> I like your singing voice. No, you remind me of a, uh, there's a real famous meditator who makes uh, DV, uh, DVDs because she has your kind of voice, so she found her place. And that was my next question. Have you found your place with your singing and your talking voice? I have found my place. And as soon as I land that, that teddy bear character, I'm going to land that too. I love animation. <laughs> <laughs> I think you would be perfect for that. What are we going to be surprised with, uh, uh, Michelle, when we see your Lifetime story? Lifetime is called The Guilty Pleasure. That's how I spend my weekend watching these stories? Um, I think my version of a Lifetime movie is edgier than anything I've seen on Lifetime. 
I mean, she's nude. And I've never seen that on Lifetime. I'm going, is, is, is Ryan now got no clothes on? <laughs> and I'm thinking, is this Michelle A movie? I'm in the movie watching going, she ain't got no clothes on. This is Lifetime. So I did. I asked Leslie Greif. I really did. I said, they're going to show this? And he said, we're going to try. So I think well, they're going to get a whole different type of Lifetime movie with a good one. Absolutely. I think that they should be expecting something that you would normally see on the big screen on their TV sets. Yes. Well, we're ready for it. When do you guys want us to watch, Ryan? When are we going to be watching the, uh, the uh, breaking her as she breaks her silence, surviving uh, content? You can. You guys can watch Michelle A. break her silence uh, on Lifetime, October fifteenth at eight p.m. All right. And Michelle A., I got a Facebook question. They want to know new music from you. Absolutely. I got a song coming out called Moonlight. It's a very happy song. I'm just happy these days. I'm so sorry. I'm going to give you something in my heart again, but somebody's got to come and break my heart for that to happen. <laughs> so right now I'm happy, happy, happy. Okay? Well, my audience <laughs> say they'll take happy. I want to thank you, Michelle, and you too, Ryan, for being my guest on the Balder BB Show. We will be watching the movie. I think we're going to be totally entertained. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you.